Metallica. They've been doing their job about as long as I've been doing mine. Better quick, plowing in her. This is what we're watching. All the way to stall, yeah. Next. Oh, Next. yeah. Bring it. Plowing Ender, this is a basic move. If you want to get vertical on the bow for your first time, or you just want a new way to do it, this is the ticket. And this is particularly the ticket if you've got a really low volume slicey boat. The Mix Master is designed specifically for this. Really low volume, long, and has enough uh, surface area in the front that it really drive that boat under the water. So this does not require a lot of skill. If you can paddle forwards and you can roll, then you can do the plowing ender. Now what's fun about the plowing ender is that you, you can uh, transfer this move into anything you want to do on the bow. You can transfer it into a bow stall, for example. And it's a lot easier to learn to bow stall from a plowing ender than it is from a cartwheel. Why is that? As a cartwheel, you've got to learn to control your edges a lot more. A bow stall, there's no edge involved other than keeping it flat. So we're going to watch this real quick. I'm going to watch a couple clips. Uh, this is Clay, right? My cursor here, you see Clay, Steven, and Nick. Now, Clay goes, this is what I asked him to do. He does a plowing ender, and then he just done. Nick does a nice plowing ender, and then he just like starts throwing all kinds of tricks because it's more fun, I guess. That's what Nick wanted to do. But uh, we'll go over those real quick. Uh, let's rewind Clay's real quick. Aww. He goes backwards. All right, and we're there. Now, notice he's going to get the boat moving pretty quick. He's paddling forwards. And then there was that key moment. Step one, you get the speed up. Now, here we are in slow-mo. Step two, notice he drops his head and leans forward. Now see the water going over the deck right now? Whoa! That's the critical moment. As soon as the water starts going over the deck, you need to keep paddling the boat forwards. Now when the, with the water going over the deck, the boat's going to want to go wee wee off to one side or another. That's why Clay's using fairly wide strokes. Each stroke, if he has to, you can turn into a sweep to straighten that boat out. Now watch. Right now is where all of a sudden the boat's going to go down fast. And the reason is because it's underwater. He's leaning forward. Now he's going to start stomping his feet. He's going to put weight on his feet. And look at that. Look at his, his chin comes up a little bit. Whoa. Drives it right down into the ostrich stall, otherwise known as a stern stall. But his head's in the water, so he can't see anything. Uh, let me just double check. I'm pretty sure he looks up at some point. There he goes. <laughs> all right, cool. So now he's in a bow stall. Let's just go ahead and watch Nick do it real quick. Um, yeah, good job, Clay. All right, bring it in, Nick. Nick drives it under. And, and then Nick's just going to get all crazy and do some fun tricks. Remember, this is about the plowing ender. i got to rewind that. But uh, let's just hear what we have to say. Whee! Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Dun -dun -dun. Ready? All right, this is the steps. There's actually, it's a little bit harder than you would think um, because you can lose your momentum before your bow gets down. So step one, sit up straight or even lean back, paddling forwards. Once your boat is going pretty fast, you don't have to be a full sprint, but full sprint's better than half sprint. So once you've got some good speed, that's when you lean forward, but you also slow down. Why do you slow down? Because the wave you're surfing catches your stern and tips you down a little bit. So when you're paddling full speed, your bow's up like this. If you slow down, the wave tips you down, actually gets the ender started. So that's why you paddle fast in the beginning. Paddle fast to create a wave. Step two, slow down and lean forward. Boom. Step three, hold it straight and drive it down. Now, remember I mentioned bringing, pushing your feet down. It is important when your bow starts going down, you should be leaning way forward, chest way forward. And as soon as you, it's going down, you're paddling, step on your feet and push that thing down. Super fun. We're going to get into the bow stall next. I'm not doing it on this video, but hope you enjoyed uh, this round of EJ's instructional plowing ender. not going to take long because it's simple. Let's finish with one more quick... 
That did not work. All right, let's try that one more time. Let's finish with one more quick. Yeah. All right, and we're out. Stop recording. Uh.